Hey, it's Brian here from uh, quantlabs.net. I just wanted to let people know as I'm digging into Simulink, I've already done state flow. Um, I'm starting to ask myself the very simple question Is the combination of MATLAB, Simulink, and state flow good enough to be able to build highly efficient, high performing trading systems? with uh, your trading models that are generated from within MATLAB or Simulink. Um, as I move into it and getting more advanced knowledge of Simulink, the answer is a definite, definite yes. Uh, the reason I say that is because I haven't really talked a whole lot about state flow yet, but with state flow you can do pretty well a lot of very... Um, advanced things and that's all done visually transitioning from state to state uh, and setting a bunch of conditions raising events and and triggers and whatnot with callback functionality as well and not only that but you can also call um, C functions from other areas as well um, so it's really got me thinking uh, just just alone in state flow we're talking right now is with state flow you can also co-generate your entire state flow chart uh, into C or C++. Now, that's just state flow for the flow of your data, your market, let's say your market data. And the other thing is, is that um, Simulink is very advanced too. Uh, there's a lot of power to it. A lot of power. Again, it's the same thing with C. C++ integration right into your models. You can call um, C, uh, C or C++ functions. Uh, they have something called S functions that those can be C++ or C. Um, and who knows where it will um, stop. I, I just don't, it just seems to be so limitless. So, and that's just where we're at today. Um, you can still co-generate your entire Simulink model, uh, be it including your state flow charts. Um, I'm sure there's going to be limitations you'll hit, but there just seems to be a lot of workarounds for it. It's a very fascinating set of tools that I've never seen before. It's very different and uh, a different way to um, build systems, basically. But specifically for trading... Um, I'm finding it very fascinating uh, as I move forward with it. Um, there are some disadvantages with it, namely data, um, the inflow of data. And stream, uh, stream, I know streaming data into uh, a Simulink model is quite possible. The question is, um, what's the right way to do it? Um, you can do it through a, a flat file or a, a uh, uh, Excel. So there's different ways to do it. Um, maybe you can connect the database into Simulink, uh, like a tick database. I'm not sure on that yet, but uh, either way, I'm 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 finding it really, really, really fascinating. And not only that, but that's the inflow part with the data coming in. Then there's the outflow, which is really your trading, uh, your trades, your execution of those trades and orders. So um, I'm trying to think if uh, I know you can connect into. See functionality with uh, Simulink on the outflow side. The question is, um, you can still call uh, C functions uh, from within the Simulink, and I'm going to assume once you hit the end, uh, your data, uh, your data outflow or results really. Uh, so there's ways to maybe do it. Again, it's still way too early days for, for me to say yes or no on it. But uh, with the C++ or C, um, you can connect into obviously using the IQ feed. Let's say I'm going to go with IQ feed, uh, C++ API, as well as uh, the interactive brokers uh, API as well. Now, with that in mind, uh, because it's C++, you can plug in any other real um, API that, as long as it's supported, it is supporting C or C++, which most do, um, especially in the world of high-frequency trading or, or trading, period. So, 
um, that's obviously a huge bonus. Now the other thing about it is because you're uh, you have the full control of building uh, a model and code generating, you can target it to specific compilers and specific platforms. So you could build something for Windows, you could build something for Mac if you want, or Linux, or even Unix. Um, so that shouldn't be a real limitation. Um, as well as I've said all earlier um, in terms of FPGA, uh, the nice thing about this is that you can still connect into the C functionality, um, but still use the HDL to um, to uh, code generate for FPGA Verilog or your HDML. Um, so that's an option as well. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything else that uh, uh, that might be a possible limitation. But so far, so good. Simulink and Stateflow are very, very powerful uh, tools. And you can also, of course, call custom MATLAB and functions as well. So they've done an awesome job at it. And um, I'm going to start digging into it sometime soon. <laughs> but the documentation is so much. It's, it's crazy. Um, it's driving my hair pretty crazy as well, as you can see. Um, but nonetheless... Uh, plugging away, just a lot to learn. Uh, other than that, I'll talk to you later.